I'm David. This is Rocio. We are the founders of a business in rural Kenya. Halima is a typical farmer in rural Kenya. He's got a large family, five kids, a small one-acre plot of land. Unfortunately, her living conditions have not improved since her grandmother's time. Her kids still do their homework over a dim light from the kerosene lamp. And she's tired of spending hours cooking on the floor every day. She'd rather use that time to do something else, earn a little bit of money aside. But Halima feels powerless to change that situation. But is she? Halima has a treasure, her social capital. She knows everybody in the village. She earned the trust of her social support networks. She made friends at her local co-op or at church. And there are millions of women in rural Kenya that, like Halima, aspire to improve their lives. Bida Sasa is a for-profit social enterprise that empowers women like Halima to transform the lives of their families. Inspired by Tupperware, we leverage the existing social networks that are part of everyday rural life to make goods affordable and accessible. We give access to healthy, time and money saving technologies and an opportunity to earn additional income. All they need to invest is their social capital. All our products come with in-house finance, affordable installments, easily payable with ubiquitous mobile money. Halima was never granted credit before. Her income is too low, she doesn't have collateral, but now she leads a group of her friends who all bought our products in installments thanks to their social capital. We deliver, deliver to our clients' doorsteps and compensate for the lack of mobility of rural women. And we provide product education and after-sales support so our clients can get the best out of whatever they purchase. Halima identifies people in her community that want these products. She and her friends form a group so we can deliver cost-effectively and reduce repayment risk. The core of our business is to support and train leaders like Halima to make the most out of their social network that they have, to spin off more groups, and to bring modernity to the whole village. As a successful leader, Halima has already earned more than $200 in referrals for mobilizing these clients. And most importantly, she earned a great deal of social recognition. And that means opportunities to expand her own business. Or in her own words, I've become well known in my village and beyond. Thank you, David. So today we offer a range of clean cooking devices, solar lighting and agricultural tools, and we are permanently scouting for more life-improving goods that either save time or money. For example, a family using the green stove here could save $200 per year just on savings from charcoal, and that represents a large fraction as typically they would earn $1,000 a year. All the products that we sell are, save either time or money that can be then reinvested in buying more products from us, or the land, or the businesses, or simply to just pay school fees. So we have to date empowered a thousand leaders, and through them we have delivered products to 12,000 families, improving the lives of 60,000 people, and we have saved our clients $700,000 per year just on savings from charcoal and kerosene expenses. 
We offer six products from five rural branches, all of them in Western Kenya, and we have generated half a million in annual revenues. Our plan for the, over the next three years is to expand geographically in Kenya, and because we believe that social capital is prevalent in most of rural Africa, we plan to expand and run a pilot in Uganda. We are also expanding our product range to bring in more agricultural tools that will improve the yields, as everybody we serve is a smallholder farmer. So we plan by 2021 to have empowered 17,000 leaders, having delivered to 270,000 people. This means improving the lives of around a million people and freeing up 12 million per year for our clients just on savings from fuel. We, offer, we, we plan to offer 12 products from 15 branches in Kenya and in Uganda while generating more than 5 million per annum. So why are we here? We want to connect with people and organizations that are working in women empowerment. And on a practical note, we are also looking for finance. As you know, we need 1 million as a, as a, in debt to finance our inventory. And we are looking for grants, all recoverable grants, one, to strengthen the way we support our women leaders, two, to improve our efficiencies in, in operations, and three, to launch uh, our pilot in Uganda. So I believe that together, all of us can help people like Halima and empower rural women in Africa. Thanks for listening. <laughs>